Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I'm going to show you an incredible puzzle that was suggested to me via Discord. So it's just absolutely amazing and I want to show just the complications of it. So look at the position. You have all these black pieces. Black is going down the board, by the way. So your queen is currently under threat and white is going up the board and it's white to move here. So this position is super complicated. It's a lot of fun. I would recommend that you take a moment or two, see if you can figure it out. It's checkmate. It's a forced checkmate for white, but it might take some time for you to find it. So give it a try. See if you can find all the complications here. And before I show the answer, I would quickly encourage you to subscribe. Remember that half of my income goes directly to charity. So every subscriber helps me out a lot. Okay. So the first thing you should notice here is the coordination between the knight and the bishop. So this knight is supporting this bishop. And this bishop is looking at some of these key squares and supporting them. Right? C4, C6, E6, E4. So if you notice that, you might notice that I can give a check in this position with the rook. And that's supported because this bishop is there. So maybe you think... Hey, I can get a draw or something. I can run the king around like this. Rook e4 check after the king only move, by the way, is to go here. King d6. I can run the king around. Rook e6 check. King c5. Rook c6 check. King d4. And I can take right here and I'm running the king in circles. So if the king goes back, we can just run in circles, right? I guess I should say squares. <laughs> it's not really a circle, is it? So if the king goes this way, well, that's actually going to lead to a forced mate in two with rook e4 check after king d2. The super nice move. Do you spot the mate in one here? Want to take a second? Mate in one. Knight b1 checkmate. Look at that. Slow motion. Move this knight right here. Super slow motion. And that's checkmate. The rook cannot take the knight because of the queen pin. And this rook and this rook are just guarding all of these squares right here. Isn't that awesome? Like that one. So the knight covers that. Knight covers that. And it's just a nice coordination. Even this square is covered by this knight on a1. Super cool. Okay, so what am I saying here? I'm saying that after rook e4, sorry, rook c4, the king goes back. Now you might ask me, Okay, how is this checkmate? It seems like I can just run the king around in little boxes here. And I would say, yeah, you're on the right track, but what's the difference between the first go around and the second go around? Let's see. So rook e4 check. Again, the king is forced to go to d6. King d6. King d6. Rook e6 check. Okay. King goes back. Now you have the killer move rook takes, or sorry, knight takes b3. Now you might ask me, what is the point of knight takes c3? b3, sorry, knight takes b3. If I can get my coordinates right, <laughs> knight takes b3. What is the point of doing this? We're going to get there. And if you're able to see far enough into the future, excellent, excellent job. But if right now this move seems mysterious to you, you'll see in a moment why. So here's a hint for you. After I take knight takes b3 check, the only move here, because it would be checkmate if it wasn't, is to take with the rook. So now this queen is no longer just confined to this square here. It now has some vision along this second rank. Okay, that's my hint to you in terms of how this could be useful later. So even now, if you want to stop now and look at this puzzle and see if you can find the rest of it, give it a try. It's not easy. So seeing it from the beginning is really tough. But from here, Maybe it's a bit more manageable. Okay, so now after we do that knight takes b3 check, what do we do? We go rook takes, or sorry, rook c6, king d4, and now we play the very subtle pawn check. Now, again, let me ask you, why are we doing this? You might say, Frank, I don't get why we're throwing pieces. I can just keep running the king around. What's the point of giving up this material for no reason? I like the way you're thinking, but look at the way by making this check, 
look at the way that you're kind of opening up the king squares, the squares around the king. So in this position, you have only two moves. King e5 is a move, but then that leads to checkmate immediately. So don't do that. And then f takes e3 is a move. Okay, let's look at the one that's not mate in one. So pawn takes. Now again, do you see the reason why this pawn was forced to capture? Do you see why, as the white pieces, I'd want to force that? I'll give you a hint. It works in coordination with this queen move. I now have an accessible square here on h2. So, okay, we'll see if that plays into it. Again, I'm going to say it again. If you want to stop here and try to solve it, try to solve it. It's a complicated puzzle. That's the beauty of these puzzles. That's why I love them. Okay, next, check you on c4. You have to go to e5. Okay. Now, this king is on this square that I just opened up this diagonal to, right? So what does that mean? Does that mean I should go here now? What will happen if I do that? Try to take a second and figure that out. What happens if I play queen h2 check? Well, it turns out that that's the correct move. Now, if you don't see it, you will. So, boom. Look at that. Check. I should tell you that there are a couple of ways to go about this. They could block, which is kind of not the best move, right? It's mate in one. You just take that. You could take that with the bishop even. And that's not going to be it's not going to be fun. But the reason why you make this move is because you're expecting them to take with the knight. So let's examine that position. After knight takes h2, what are you doing? You just gave up your queen and you just gave up a pawn. But you're opening up this position around the king. Now why? Why do you want to do that? Well, let's keep looking. Rook check again on e4. King goes around again. Now I check with the other rook. Look at this. The rook on f1 now captures on f6. Now what's the point of this? Let's just make sure it's clear. What's the point? I take right here. You have two options. You can take with the pawn or you can take with the bishop. Right? Those are your only two options. So if you take with the pawn, you see that that weakens this diagonal, right? So let's examine that position. G takes F6. That actually leads to a nice little mate. That's bishop F8. And then after the queen interposes, look at this mate. Bang. Queen is captured with mate by the bishop. The coordination between these pieces is just incredible. The bishop is holding, this bishop is attacking, this rook's holding it together, this knight's holding it together. I love it. Okay, so you don't take with the pawn, right? That's what we just showed, right? You don't take with the pawn. So what does that mean you do? You take with the bishop, which is what I was showing. Bishop takes f6. Now, is this any different? Well, now, instead of giving up this diagonal when you take with the pawn, now, by taking with the bishop, you give up this diagonal. So do we use that right now? We will. Maybe not now, but we'll use it. Okay. Rook e6 check. King c5. Now, do you see the mate in 2 that follows here? So we just opened up this diagonal. And now this pawn is very sensitive. And you play bishop e3 check. They have one move. Bishop d4. Do you take it? No. The reason you made this move is to block them in. Look at that. Look at that arrow. To block them in. So what's the mate in one? Do you see the mate in one? I'm sure you do. Rook c6 checkmate. Incredible. So this knight holds this bishop, which is what I said in the very beginning. This bishop is holding this rook. And this bishop just helped because it blocked off the king's out square. So I think it's important just to see it in slow motion here. Let me go all the way back. Okay. So let's just, I should say fast motion. We're going to go through all the moves kind of quickly. So let's see how it looks. Rook e4 check. King goes up. Rook e6 check. King goes back. c6 check. I'm just going to not narrate. I'll, just, I'll let you just watch it check 
Look at the little box there. And look at this brilliant move. Bang. Take with the knight. Why do that? Well, you want to open up this diagonal for your queen. Now that you see it in retrospect, it makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? The king's now in the dark square. Give up the queen just for free. Knight takes it. You're opening up this box around your king. Rook e4. Of course, I said I'm not going to narrate, but I'm just so enthralled by the position that I am. Rook takes f6. You take either way, you're going to get mated. Look at this. Nice little blocking off move. To end it all, rook c6 checkmate. How amazing is that? How amazing is that? Isn't that just incredible? I love these puzzles. This was just an amazing Reddit, not Reddit, <laughs> Discord suggestion. And I love it so much. So thank you to the viewer who subscribed and who has reached out to me about this puzzle. It's amazing. I just, I love these puzzles. I don't know about you, but these are just beautiful puzzles. The way that they all work together, the pieces all coordinate. It's just fantastic. But that's it for the video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Helps out charity. Looking forward to what we're going to do in July. So hopefully we can do a lot of great, great stuff. All right. Thank you so much. Bye.